Hi everyone, welcome to The Last Drop. I am the Whiskey King. It's time for a bit of fun. In this series of videos, uh, this being part one, uh, I'm going to pair whiskey with a whiskey tuber. So I'm going to present you with a whiskey tuber and then I'm going to pair you a whiskey which I think pairs well with them or what I associate, what whiskey I associate with them as well. So either one of the two, um, we'll see how it goes. Um, these are my choices. Comment down below what whiskey you think pairs with a specific whiskey tuber. I'll try and link everything in the below. This is part one. The list of whiskey tubers is massive. So keep watching and let's start with the first one. Hello there, I'm Jim the Whiskey Novice. I am being paired with Bushmills 12. That'll do. Thanks Jim. Uh, next up is Whiskey Straight Al, Big Al. What a fantastic guy he is. Um, I've paired Powers John Lane with him. Um, it's one of his first videos he ever done. Uh, and yeah, obviously an Irish whiskey, but, and him being Irish, but uh, never mind. Next up is the wonderful Antonio from Whiskey Quests. Um, he's got some great theatrics and stuff going on on his channel. Great guy, really, really worth checking out. He's hit over a thousand subscribers now, so please go and check him out and stuff too. Um, I've paired with him Willet Pot Still Reserve, uh, as I think that's probably the most theatrical bottle that I know of um, or have seen. It's quite up there, it's a bourbon. Likes bourbon. Yeah. Next up, we've got Scotch Test Dummies. Uh, what, what else can you say about these guys? Uh, they tested a lot. Uh, and for them, it could only be the bottle of Wow. And it has to be ECBP, Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof. Good pairing, I think. Next up, we've got um, Matt Cigar and Whiskey. Uh, if you haven't seen Matt's channel, go and check him out. Um, great guy, loves his fishing, um, loves his cigars, and he loves his whiskey. So for to go with a cigar, it's got to be Dalmore Cigar Malt. It is actually really nice. I know it's a Dalmore and it's got colouring in it, but it is nice. And I've got hair in my mouth. Hi. Next up is Toby from Whiskey Shared. What I've paired with Toby is Glenlivet Caribbean Cask. It's always on sale, so it always comes up in Toby's bargain alerts. Cheers, Toby. Next up is Stuart from Whiskey Whims. Cracking guy from up there in that north place, wherever it is. Scotland, that's it. Uh, Great guy, great channel, always reviews some good stuff, got some great notes going on in there and so forth. Uh, for him I've paired Daft Mill. Now, he loves Daft Mill, everybody loves Daft Mill. Can you get Daft Mill? You can't get Daft Mill. Should I bother buying Daft Mill? Probably not. But here's some Daft Mill for Stuart from Whiskey Whims. Hi, next up is No Nonsense Whiskey with the lovely Vin PF. Um, I noticed the other day he does, it's always black and white, isn't it? So is that because it, black and white's no nonsense? Or everything he does is black and white? I don't know. I don't know, I don't, I don't know whether it is or not. But anyway, pairing it with him is Tomatin Legacy. A no, great, no nonsense whiskey that he goes on about a lot. Hello, me, the Whiskey King, presenting you, Alan, the Whiskey Friend. Can only be kill Karen car strength. Enough said. Right, so next up is a difficult one actually, and I, I had this one I had to ponder, and I had to ponder this quite a long time because it was difficult to know what to pair with this guy. This guy is Gregoire 
You'll know him best as his website, Greg's Whiskey Guide. He's also on YouTube doing his reviews, uh, along with other different things on there. But really, really difficult to pair a whiskey with Greg because he's tried so much. He's up there on the level of Ralphie or, uh, you know, the big guys, the big guns, you know, the guys that are well into their whiskies, the oh, Richard Pattersons almost, you know. Greg's been there, he's done it, he's got loads of whiskey. So pairing, what should I pair with him? He has a big link with Australian whiskey. He used to work for him. Uh, I think it was Starwood. Anyway, I'm pairing him with Starwood. Um, great Australian whiskey and great guy, very knowledgeable. Um, Greg's Whiskey Guide, check him out. Next up is Ralphie. So I've got a hat and some glasses. I don't have a check shirt thing, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, pairing something with Ralphie, again quite difficult, but as I think he's been around on YouTube the longest, I thought it would be best to pair him maybe with a whiskey that's, or a distillery that's been around the longest, and I believe it is Glen Turret, 1775 I believe is the thing. So I've paired him with Glen Turret. Uh, I know he's reviewed them recently as well, so this is my pairing with Ralphie, Glen Turret. Fan Tabby Dorsey. I don't know, he's not related to the Crankies. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. now it's party time because it's New Dram Drinker. Um, Anthony and Nikki, what a fabulous couple they are. Uh, obviously, we all like Nikki better than Ant, but you know, he does all the work behind the scenes, so that's, that's okay. Uh, what to pair with them? Uh, it had to be Bimba. Uh, so, yeah, here's a bottle of Bimba. Uh, yeah, had to be Bimba, um, they've been there since the beginning with them, reviewing and showing and promoting. Uh, they've just recently done a, an interview about Bimba with, uh, on a podcast and all that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, that's my pairing with New Dram Drinker, a new distillery. Had to be, didn't it? Come about the route about at the, roughly the same time. Bimba, New Dram, drink it! Sip it, pour it, I can't remember what it is. Right, next up is Rob from Whiskey in the Six. Um, Canadian guy, lovely guy. Um, but whenever Rob, whenever I hear Rob or whenever I hear Whiskey in the Six, I immediately, I don't know why, I immediately think of McCallum. The McCallum. Um, obviously McCallum, arguably overpriced again, all that sort of thing. But yeah, I think Rob pairs with a Macallan. He loves his Macallans. Does quite a lot of reviews on them. Uh, so yeah, my pairing with Rob from Whiskey in the Six is Macallan. The Macallan! Okay, another guy with a cap and a glasses, but he's got a little beard like me. He's got a, maybe a bit bigger, maybe a bit ginger. Mine's a bit grey now. Um, Neil from the Whiskey Trials. Now, what do you pair with Neil? from the Whiskey Trials with, you pair him with Glendronic 18, he loves it, we all love it. They've just balls everything up with some sort of filtering system uh, and uh, blatantly just giving the public a load of bull crap about it. So, but anyway, uh, Neil from the Whiskey Trials, Glendronic 18, lovely. Right, okay, next up is a guy that's pretty new to the scene, and he is Jeff Whiskey. Um, great guy, knows his stuff. He likes slapping the crap out of a bottle. Just giving it a big old slap. It's his thing. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, pairing it with him, one of his like first reviews. Um, Cutty Sark, Prohibition. Uh, this, this is a good bottle of whiskey, actually. I really do enjoy Cut Yourself Prohibition. In fact, I think Jim's just was done it as well. Whiskey knows. But yeah, really, really good whiskey. Um, for a really, really good price. I think you sometimes get it for sub £25. But we won't go into that now. This is pairing whiskey with YouTubers. So, yep. Cut Yourself Prohibition. Jeff Whiskey. Get a bottle and slap that bottle. Okay. Last but not least, 
uh, in this episode anyway, uh, is the Swedish Whiskey Girl. Um, great girl, great reviews, um, really knows her stuff with uh, regards to whiskey, um, far more than I do, or most other YouTubers to be honest. And yeah, what could possibly be part, you know, what could possibly could go with her uh, is McMira and specifically Grand Day, which is a fabulous whiskey and one you should go and check out. Um, so yeah, McMira Grand Day. That ends this episode um, of me pairing whiskey with different YouTubers. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please hit that like button if you did enjoy this. Uh, obviously there's loads of um, whiskey tubers out there. I haven't like even scraped the surface really. I've got another two sheets written out already. Um, but yeah, please comment down below what one of your favourite YouTubers and what whiskey you would pair with them. It'd be really interesting to see. Uh, I'm sure the guys um, that I have been, I've been playing or characterising or talking about will comment as well. Um, hopefully they do, and hopefully they like my the pairings. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, that is the last drop. <laughs>